Welcome to the sneaker bench. Due to budget increases, we now have a channel name. Today we're gonna to be looking at the New Balance 610 from the Joe Fresh Good recent collect, most recent collection, the Beneath the Surface pack. These are the little swamp 610s. Before we get into them, we're show what we have on feet. Today I have the Saucony Grid 6000, or no, Saucony Shadow 6000. A life collaboration pretty cool sneaker cam we have sneaker cam because now we are a full budget show Raj has the I have the Air Max pluses in the like OG purple colorway um, I don't know I think it's probably my f favorite or second favorite colorway I think all three of them are really really cool but these ones have been beat up recently from a relatively rowdy night of drinking so it's been out to the bar in the <laughs> max pluses so From a relatively rowdy night of drinking so they're beat up and i've been thinking about cleaning them but i kind of like them beat up i think they look cool with the little dirt on the midsole so they look cool it's sad to see them that happen to them though i can clean them pretty easy first we got the box we've got uh, a pretty cool box actually um this is what the size tag everything looks like the pattern here is kind of the camo-ish pattern that is on the actual shoes. Joe Fresh Goods designed it, and you may not be able to tell. It's easier if I pop this up. It says like Joe J F G. It's supposed to look like the Joe Fresh Good his initials. So um, you could miss that. Other people might have said that already, but something to note: you got the Joe Fresh Good logo down here. That's just the six ten logo. That's I don't think that's his main logo. Could be wrong though. Um, same pattern with the glossy finish and the New Balance logo right there. So pretty cool box. And taking it out, you've got tissue paper, also pretty cool in here. It's orange with the same kind of pattern in it. And then we have the shoe. So this is, give Raj, this, you want the right one in the video. So that's, this is the New Balance 610, Little Swamps from the Joe Fresh Goods um, Beneath the Surface Pack, I believe it is. All right, cool. So, <clears throat> as you can see, like, is this, should I get closer for here? Or should, like? That's good. Like, you can see the pattern um, all throughout the orange. It's this suede, pretty nice suede. And then this is embroidered on the suede, which is pretty darn cool. Throughout the whole thing, you've got all of that pretty cool pull tab on the back. On the side, you've got the New Balance 610 logo right there. And then on the tongue, you've got the 610 logo, but it has Joe Fresh Goods instead, so it's it's been changed. And then you've also got the really cool lacing system or whatever you want to call it where it goes all the way to the toe so it it pinches this around the your toes and your i don't know the, your forefoot or whatever it's called um so it, it has more lockdown this is originally the newbound 610 is originally a hiking shoe but they put materials on this where it's, it's really not a hiking shoe anymore you're not going to want to i mean you could theoretically wear this hiking but there's all the suede on it yeah. You, you probably wouldn't want to. No, you probably... And it, even the 610 in general, like, there are cool colorways, but this is by far... Like, there are cool, like, GR colorways, but this... The details on this are just absurd. Like, one of my favorite details is that uh, little shark tooth thing right on the front. Well, this right there. I think that looks so cool, um, and it just works really well. The black accents throughout the entire shoe, the black accent stitching is really cool. So the camo. Um, yeah, and also the toe box. It looks green, just plain green from, like, far away. But as you get closer to it, it's got that camo print on it, which all, is super sick. All the green has the camo on it. Yeah. It's hard to tell, and that's kind of... It's cool because it's subtle. Yeah. And it's not... you. No one looks or looks at you like you're wearing a camo shoe. It's just kind of cool, different shades of green. Mm -hmm. um, it also comes with another pair of laces. It comes with these black and orange stripe laces with metal lace tips as well as so that's the orange one the orange one same thing but with black uh little stripes and then also has metal lace tips on those or aglets yeah uh the midsole it's got 
the it's got like a worn in look already uh these are still ds but so it's got these like i don't know white marks on them um and then on the outsole you've got the it's it says new balance endurance um I, someone was saying like or i saw someone asking if these had um what's it called absorb sole and i don't see anything about it being an absorb sole usually it would say actually no i lied it says absorb right in the back so this does have absorb cushioning so whoever was asking that on a different video it does have the absorb right there um so yeah cool stuff these should be pretty comfortable mm -hmm. and they've got really good materials very cool and that's probably it for the just plain out overview of the shoe now <clears throat> i'd say my own personal thoughts this colorway is obviously the crazier of the two six tens you also have the rainier colorway um which I, those are my favorite i think the latte colored six tens are pretty cool these are just a little more out there and something that i really didn't have anything like in my collection so that's what made me be i was more interested in these than i was in those yeah personally I think one of the cooler parts of the shoe is the midsole. Just that worn-in look does look super cool. And especially with, I think, one of the accents that I really like is that green, the back green part. It just looks really cool. It's really subtle. It doesn't stand out a whole bunch, but when you're actually just looking at the midsole itself, it adds a lot. Um, and Joe Freshgood, something he always does really well with his sneakers are just like a ton of little details that like, unless you look really closely at the shoe, you don't always see them, like, especially in, like, product pictures or something like that. But, like, the stitching around the heel is really cool. The the stitching just across the shoe, it's not, like, a straight line. It's, like, kind of pretty bumpy, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, which I don't know if that's done on purpose or that's just, like, their, how their manufacturer did it. But I still think it looks way cooler than some of the, like, straight line stitching that's done. Um, and, yeah, I, I think... I don't know. I just really like the way the orange stands out on the outsole, too. I think that looks super sick. It's a cool direction for Joe Fresh Goods. Chicago native and designer. It's cool that he's going in a little bit of a different direction now than some of his other stuff he's done as of, I don't know, the past year or so, which has been more like pastel-y colors, which is cool. I think a lot of what he's done is cool, but I think it's also cool to see him branch out in something different. And these are just kind of weird. And a lot of times I end up liking a lot of weird sneakers and um... um one other random thing that I really like is the insole. You can't I'm trying to see if you can pick it up. Oh, yeah, we forgot to show but the call. It says Joe Fresh Goods. Oh, let me see if I can get a focus on that. It says Joe Fresh Goods with that same logo that's seen on the box. And I just I don't know, I really like it. I think it looks pretty dope. Um Yeah. Good stuff, Joe. We like it. <laughs> I'm expect Joe. Joe's watching this video. First, I'd like to offer my sincerest, sincerest apologies. After I showed you the inside of the shoe, the entire camera went out of focus. Due to this regrettable action, you will never know what we know or what we think about the KD 16s, the J Balvin threes, the Travis Scott Mac attacks and much more. I am genuinely so sorry, and I hope you can forgive me. Thank you. Anyways, that's all I really have to say about this shoe. Um, I like it. I think it's cool. It has got a lot of very intricate details that a sneaker enthusiast, sneaker nerd would enjoy, while at the same time just being an interesting looking sneaker. Very cool. That's all I really have to say. Do you have anything else to say about it, Raj? Uh, about this shoe, no, not really. I mean, I think it would look good with a lot of things. Um, black pants as well. Black pants, yeah. Wearing. Black pants. Honestly, even, like, green pants would look good with this. Like, a green, like, hiking pant or something like that. Um, honestly, I think it's... Uh, although, I think it is a very wearable shoe. It's not necessarily a shoe that I would necessarily wear with shorts. I think it would look a little silly with shorts, honestly. But, I don't know. I really like this shoe. I think Joe Freshgood's going in the hiking direction, and we've seen more and more collabs going in the hiking direction, which I think is cool. Now, I do like <coughs> hiking shoes, and I think a lot of them 
can look cool if people just put a little more effort or thought into the design of them, which I think this is a really good example of what can be done when you put a little more thought or effort into the design of some hiking shoes. So yeah, overall, huge fan of these. Um, it, it I, Spiros came in and then like literally that day I was on New Balance, New Balance's website looking for a pair, not for, not of this colorway, but of a different colorway because the silhouette itself is very cool. For the sixth time, yeah. Yeah, and the shape is really cool as well. Thank you guys for watching today. That's really all we've got. <laughs> Next video will be Raj on the camera, Raj face reveal. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe. We are now dedicated. This is our second video. Last video, we said we were making another video on these. And here we are in that video. So you have our word that we made that video and you can believe us. So now you have, I'm rambling and this is not meaningful at all. So just... Subscribe, please leave a comment say you hate me in the comments below or say you love me or Comment literally anything um, Have a great day. Hopefully you enjoy the video Good night